I uh, have a Sony PMW EX3 uh, with a problem with the LCD screen. I'll just turn it on and I'll show you. Powering up, and this is what you get. As you can see, there is information there, but the lights seem to be flashing. Looks could be a crack here, it could be a crack here, it could be water damage. I don't know at this stage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start stripping down the unit um, and to have a look and see what I can see inside. I'll just power down the unit first. I'll start by taking these four screws out of the front of the screen. This one here is certainly got a sign of, uh, of corrosion. I'm just going to connect my wrist strap for ESD. Now we have four silver screws that hold in the screen. I fell into the button, I'll get it as soon as I get the screen out. The last one is up here. Okay, that's the screen out. And this cable should clip out to one side. Yeah. I stripped down the screen looking for water damage but as you can see it's perfectly clean uh, I have my new screen here the cost of these screens are around 400 pounds sterling uh, so you, you have to be sure that the screen is gone before you buy a new one um, but I'm 100% sure that this screen is gone as you can see with the marks on them if you look at the two of them together these are got you can see the marks this one here is grand I'm going to start sticking it in now Okay. First thing I have to do is put this cable in, slide it in, it slots in from the side. Mm -hmm. 
make sure it's fully home. You can see it there, I'm just going to zoom in. That's where it goes there. I can test this now before I actually reassemble it. What I'll do is I'm going to put the power into the DC jack and switch on and see what happens. And as you can see, that's a fix. I'm just going to put my four screws back in. Power down first, of course. I'm going to start putting in my four silver screws now. Have the unit power down. And the last screw. And as you can see, one screw here, little one at the top. We just put in our little cover and we have four black screws here for this. Okay, not a hard job to do, simple enough, straightforward, just make sure you um, observe all ESD precautions. Uh, I have a wrist strap on, as you can see. Uh, the mats uh, that I'm working on um, are ESD, and the uh, mats on the floor ESD safe. Uh, these PCBs on cameras are very sensitive to uh, static. So you can blow them. You, it, the camera might work, and it might work for six months. It might work for a year, but you could have done damage to it. You don't know. So make sure you at least discharge yourself uh, before you take go near any of these uh, screens. Hope that's of some help to someone. Thanks for watching.